Well, hello there, nice people of the internet. And I'm only talking to the nice people. So if you're not a nice person, just unsubscribe and leave. Uh, what are we doing? Well, the weather is really terrible. It's either super cold, windy, rainy, or all of the aforementioned. Um, so I don't have any flight footage because I haven't been flying. What I have been flying was the Mavic, just taking some pictures. Um, if you're interested, I can link a video that I put on Vimeo so I don't offend people with a Mavic footage. Uh, so what are we doing? Well, we're embracing capitalism. I'm, I'm going to be part of the machine to make you desire new things, buy new things. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do some unboxing of uh, a new antenna. Usually, all reasonable people would buy an antenna to either get better penetration, more range. I bought an antenna because it looks cool. I am super happy about these. Let me. These are the uh, True RC Canada X Airs, and they're brilliant. Even though they're directional, you still have plenty of space behind you and the penetration is just brilliant. And they are not super huge. I mean, many people, like if I would have to take them off, there's like these screws, if I would have to take them off and on every time I want to fly, I would definitely not sporting, be sporting them. But uh, they do fit in my uh, backpack and even though like, you know, there is a pressure point and if you look at the faceplate that's uh, made of aluminium uh, I kind of got plenty of dents in there so I mean my backpack is not super safe place but they've they've survived just fine and I really enjoy using these they're really just like they made the system great um, I don't have footage to prove it, but I do fly with these um, and it's possible to fly behind uh, my house. It's probably the signal it bounces off from the neighbor houses because I can't imagine the signal, you know, 5.8 uh, gigahertz signal penetrating through a whole freaking house. But at 25 milliwatts, I can fly with these. If I put on the stock antennas, I did the test. Um, I was able to fly at 200 milliwatts, but it was really, really like Luke Skywalker kind of flight. You know, you just have to believe. Um, so I really enjoyed these uh, for their penetration. But as I mentioned, the faceplate is kind of uh, janky and, uh, you know, I'm not super stoked about putting these flimsy you know one point of failure um there's actually four but i mean like you don't want to lose uh, <laughs> part of the antenna so uh, i found that um there's a, an antenna that will solve both of my issues the aesthetic one and the functional one uh, that i won't have to worry about putting these in a backpack and that antenna has just arrived. Well, this is the start of the show. Ooh, look at that. The screws. Oh my God, this looks so dope. I have to say, I mean, this is like, you know, fake carbon, but it looks nice. I wish this was somewhat nicer, but it, it has, it comes off as of, of matte, but it has like a soft, coating i really like it all right well let's let's put it on the goggle and i got the version with uh with the stubbies the finish is not exactly what i would hope for <laughs> all right so the first thing we're gonna do is take off the amazing antennas Oh, 
Whoops. This is aluminum, aluminum, but very, very thin sheet. So I can just like fix it with my fingers. But, you know, these small dents, there's no way for me to fix those. But yeah, I'll put that aside as well. I mean, these kind of look cool even, even so. <laughs> but where's the freaking thing? Okay. So what you can do is you can put them either up or down. But I'm definitely going to put them down and put the stubbies on top. However, this is kind of long and I've seen people have a loop, big loop here. Let me see if I can maybe just make it. And unfortunately, it's like so close that it would be bending too much. Now, let's not do that. Let's do it. Do the ugly wire loop. Okay. I'm not super stoked about this. Oh well, what can you do? But generally, I think it looks dope. I mean, my goggles are pretty filthy because I don't, I don't care for my stuff. You just shove it into the bag and, uh, and I call it a day. So let me try shoving it in my bag and use my phone to record that part. So if they're like, I don't know, 70% of what the X airs used to be, I think I'm pretty good because uh, you know they were really performant and I don't fly on anything but 700 milliwatts so you know when I take that trip to Dolomites or you know Switzerland Alps um, then maybe yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna put these back on but uh, for my day-to-day -day use, I think I'm just gonna stick to this. Uh, all right, short video, uh, take care. Hopefully, if you're on the Northern Hemisphere, you will survive the ugly season with me. And uh, if you're on the Southern Hemisphere, uh, I hope that <laughs> there's not many heat waves and uh, you can get some nice summer flying that I uh, that the northern hemisphere is jealous about take care guys and see you next time